How's it going everyone? JKXX here back on Forza Horizon 3 today with the next episode of the Ridiculously Tuned Cars Thingy Tune series thing. Now I wasn't too sure what we were going to choose this episode but um, I saw someone suggest the Ford Escort. Now again the only problem with this there are quite a few Ford Escorts. There's this one, there's that one etc etc but I feel like upgrading the slowest one the 1973 RS 1600 Ford Escort just because the slower it is stock, the more mental it usually is when it's upgraded. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to upgrade this to the fullest. We're going to make it absolutely ridiculous. Tune it just for top speed. Take it out in some races, see what she's like. Here we are, just had to restart my game because it wasn't working for some reason. But we are back on the Ford Escort screen. And what kind of paint job do we want? There are some quite sick paint jobs here, if I must say. Oh, that is cool. That is very cool. I've got to choose that one. That is a sick eagle on the side of that. Looking good. That is a sick paint job. Don't like the rims though. I'll have to change those. Anyway, straight to the upgrades. What do we have? Conversion. <sighs> Let's put the 3.2 litre i6 inside there. Race tyres. It's already nearly S class. That is fast. Everything else, I think I'm just going to fully upgrade. So I'm just going to quickly skip through this. There we are, all done. We are at the top of S1 class with 800 horsepower in a 900 kilogram car. This is gonna be quite quick. We have the paint, we have the upgrades. Let's take this thing to some races. That is, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. Right, I'm gonna go do this driver tar thing. Right, I wanna pull this again. Wow. That is very quick. I want to tune that real quick, just to make the gears a bit longer. Right, that seems alright to me. Wow, that is fast. That is very quick. Right, let's find something to do real quick. There is this up here. Let's make our way over here and see what we have to drive against. Here we are. We are here. This thing is just ridiculous. Here he is, WBC Leasy. Let's go up behind him. Let's challenge him. Let's quickly win this. What is he in? Toyota Celica. Ooh! This thing glides across the air like an eagle. Maybe that's why it's got an eagle paint on it. Straight through the banana panes. Plants. Whoa! Stuck on a tree. Very nice. What's the interior like? That steering wheel is tiny. That is absolutely tiny. 13,000 fans. I always get the terrible ones. I quite fancy an off-road race or one that's partially off-road. This one here, let's go over to here, to the airport. What do we have? We have another Ford Escort there. There's a Mini Cooper, another Mini Cooper, and another Mini Cooper. Ooh! <laughs> This thing's insane. Whoa. They are long gone. Oh, don't want to miss that checkpoint. There we are. It's like a jelly tune. It's just bouncing all over the place. Look at <laughs> This is insane. Oh, they are miles away. Those skulls on the back look pretty cool. Goodbye, it just pulls away on the straight slot. 130, 140, it is fast. And here. Didn't take that very well, but we're alright. We are still way in the lead. Whoa, more water. This consists of a lot of water parts, this, this track. Back onto the tarmac. What speed are we going to hit? 200 maybe? Can we hit 200? Well that was that was very easy. I'm going to increase my difficulty by one for the next race, definitely. This one here, this one's off-road and on the road. We were absolutely beast in that race. We were in the lead by quite a lot there. Right, I have changed my difficulty and hopefully this is more of a challenge this time. We're starting off-road this time here. Get out of the way Mini Cooper. 
They still have no match for the speed of my Cosworth. Cosworth? I mean Escort, not Cosworth. Whoa, okay. Well, they're going to be, I'm going to increase... I'm going to increase the difficulty even more for the next one because we still need more of a challenge than this. Although this is quite insane and quite ridiculous, which is the point of this series, I, I mean, it's not handling too bad. The speed is more than enough. Sweet little drift around there. They are so far behind. I'm going to put my difficulty up to do unbeatable for the next one. Because nothing is matching to the speed of this. Here we are, a bit of patch of water before the finish. Hopefully we should have levelled up there as well. 8000 XP. Ooh, Mini Cooper S Horizon Edition. That'll be a cool thing to get. No, but I'll take 150k though. Any day. Lovely jabbly. Right, I'm going to find one more of those to do. Because that is a good race for a car like this. Let's do this one up here. We've do I've done this one before, but I don't really remember doing it. We'll challenge myself to an unbeatable difficulty race in this Escort. Difficulty, just so in proof, unbeatable. There we go. I'm not going to cut out this just so I can show proof that it's staying on here. Oh, that is a bright sun. And it still pulls off the line to them. The corners is where they would take me. Wood ski, get out of my way. Yes. Even on unbeatable difficulty, this escort, it pulls away from them. Oh, wow. Okay, that was... Easily winning. Well, not easily. They are right behind me, sort of, but, you know... If you want to win on Unbeatable and get in an upgraded Ford Escort and go against Mini Coopers, make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments below of what car I should do next. The sillier the car is, the higher chance I have of choosing it. But I've never seen myself this far in front. Last corner. This has been an interesting car. First place, there we are. Uh, I'm going to like that design, yes. Nice design, that. Right, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I've definitely enjoyed this car. Thank you for whoever uh, suggested this car. Make sure to leave your suggestions in the comments below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe for more Forza content and stuffs. And I will see you lot in the next video.